It's been a few years since we've reviewed a Lexus ES. But it remains one of the best selling luxury cars you can buy. And we did commission this graphic, so let's talk about it. The seventh generation Lexus ES was introduced for the 2019 model year. When it launched, we at the Blue Book lauded its muted cabin and graceful road manners. I can confirm that all of that praise still applies. Oh, and the seats are still the gold standard for supportive, pressure point free sitting. In the rear, legroom is ample, and despite a sleek roof line, headroom is plentiful. The trunk provides 16.7 cubic feet of space, a workable figure, though it'd be more workable if the rear seat backs folded down. With luck, you'll never have to haul anything larger than this pass-through allows. As for material quality, the interior feels soft in all the right places. I like the stitching here, this cushy shin pad, and I love the squishy armrest for my impossibly delicate elbows. Squish, squish. Yes, you'll find hard plastic if you look for it, but overall, premium vibes dominate. Other niceties include a two-way opening center console cover, a dual-height cup holder, and this little guy for those who associate analog clocks with luxury. For its mid-cycle update, thanks again, editor, the ES benefited from a range of minor styling tweaks inside and out. For comparison, here's the OG 7th generation Lexus ES alongside the refreshed standard ES. Heads up, we're driving the F Sport. More on that shortly. Following its mid-cycle refresh, Lexus also opted to revise the infotainment system. I'd previously complained that the ES's screen was not a touchscreen. Well, Lexus heard my lamentations and made it a touchscreen. They also moved it 4.3 inches closer to the driver. You can still use the remote touch interface down here if you want to control it and not touch the screen, but now you don't have to. As for screen sizes, there's a standard 8-inch unit and an optional 12.3-inch unit, each offering Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity. Hitting on powertrains, there's a standard 3.5-liter V6 teamed with an 8-speed automatic transmission, and there's an optional hybrid. And here are the fuel economy figures. Wow, that hybrid has really great fuel economy. If you are interested in the hybrid though, just know that the brake pedal has that spongy, unnatural feel of hybrids that I thought we'd gotten rid of, but here it is. Now, something weird. For the same price you pay for a front wheel drive V6 ES350, you can also get a less powerful ES250 with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and all wheel drive. If you're willing to trade power for traction, now you have that choice. Filling out the price picture, for a little less than $41,000, not including destination charges, you can snag a base Lexus ES350 or ES250 all-wheel drive featuring LED headlights and taillights, a moonroof, smart entry with push-button start, and 10-way power front seats. Tack on an extra $1,100 if you'd rather drive the ES300H hybrid. And of course, you can ascend the Lexus ES trim ladder to unlock features like leather heated and ventilated seats, a power rear sunshade, a panoramic moonroof, a 17 speaker Mark Levinson audio system, a 360 degree camera system, and wireless phone charging. Choose the priciest ES300H ultra luxury trim and you'll spend more than $51,000 to start. For folks who'd like a veneer of sportiness, the F Sport, like we're driving, adds sporty details inside and out and is offered with all three powertrains. Here's a side-by-side -side so you can compare the standard ES with the F Sport. The Ford's mid-cycle refresh F Sportified ESs used to automatically include an adaptive suspension along with Sport Plus and custom driving modes. But now those features are bundled in a separate dynamic handling package. So if you want to look sporty without actually driving sportily, skipping those adaptive dampers can save you a couple of bucks. One last bit of praise, the ES includes a standard suite of safety and driver assist tech, including adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking, 10 airbags, blind spot monitoring, intersection turning assist that can help keep you from turning into the path of oncoming traffic, and lane departure warning with steering assist. Let's see if I can stupidly vacate my lane. Lexus says no. If you're curious about ES alternatives, consider the less expensive Acura TLX and Cadillac CT5. You might also ponder the notably pricier Genesis G80 with its evocative style and a performance-focused rear-wheel drive platform. But among comparable luxury sedans, the Lexus ES has an advantage. 
It's a Lexus, offering the reliability and strong residual values that badge implies. It's also comfortable, stylish, and reasonably priced. If you want to know why Lexus sells so many ESs, there is your answer.